one thing we look at is if we did perhaps even a jazz, because we're jazz musicians, so we might do a bit of jazz for a change. That'd be a change. Uh, uh, G'day viewers, I'm Tim. And I'm Don. And together, together we, we are My Aim, the Improvised, the improvised line. line. And an innovative, innovative method. method. Welcome to our channel guys. We're all about playing music, improvisation and the cycle of movable keys. This week Tim, I thought we'd do an improvisation using the 1, 4, 3, 5. So we'll stick to the same format, eh? So we'll play two bars per chord, uh, just for eight bars, and we'll see what happens. In a nice easy ballad style. progression a little more closely on the cycle of keys. So we're going from the first to the fourth to the third to the fifth. So that would be from the tonic because that's the first note of the scale to the fourth or the subdominant to the third or the mediant and to the dominant or the fifth. Here at my aim we prefer to use other terms as, as associated with the books that we've written so the only in is the first note of the scale and that's the mode that most music is written in. The Lydian starts on the fifth note of the scale so a Lydian scale sounds a little bit different and that's how we can get some nice different chord progressions and sounds happening in a Lydian mode. The same with the Phrygian or the third and the Mixolydian or the fifth. So what makes this chord progression nice and smooth and easy to do is because there's a lot of common notes in the chords and they're really close together. So when we're going from the first to the fourth you can see straight away that the C note is common in both chords. So a C chord to an F chord. And the same when we're going from 3 to 5. From the E minor to a G chord. So straight away you can see two notes are common. From E minor to G. So when that happens, your melody note, your improvised line, the theme that you've established has one note that can be played against several different chords. So we're just playing a C note. We can play it against a C chord, an F, a C7, an A minor, a 6, an F7, an F major 7, a C augmented, an augmented 7, any chord that you're familiar with. So you can attribute that note to lots of different chords and you'll hear that coming up in the two improvisation demonstrations we've got happening both on piano and organ where one note is applied against several different chords. Hope you enjoy those. Where would we go from here Tim? So one thing we look at is if we did perhaps even a jazz because we're jazz musicians, so we might do a bit of jazz for a change. That'd be a change. Uh, yeah. uh, a bit of jazz. A bit of jazz. <coughs>
one thing's for sure, there are no wrong notes. <laughs> so one of the things you need to remember is I don't see these charts until Don brings them in each day that we make these films. So they really are true improvisation. One of the reasons why we use this format of two chords per bar is that you can emulate just about any rhythm style that you like. Isn't that right? That's the idea of in the beginning. Later on we'll get more complicated, but for the moment, using the same formula, show us another rhythm. So let's have a look, uh, look at a little bit of swing.